Come along, children. Now we're going to have a little music. What is up, guys? Welcome back to First Cut. It's your boy Ace with RB3. We already did a, a Matrix Resurrections reaction, a uh, genuine reaction on the Geeks of Color YouTube channel, so be sure to check that out. But now, we kind of want to talk about it as well, so we're going to check out the trailer once again. Uh, if you guys want to tune in with us, again, we've seen this trailer before. Our genuine reaction is on Geeks of Color. We just want to keep watching this. We just want to dive into it. I mean, we're both big Matrix fans, so... I'm desperate to see this trailer once again, so uh, let's just do it, man. Let's get into it, man. I, you know, you know me. I love Matrix, so uh, you know we both love Matrix. And obviously, like you know, we're first cut crew. We like to break stuff down. The meeting up podcast. We gotta really get into the meat because there's a lot to break down in this. Yeah, one, so. we're gonna try our best, guys. So let's check out this trailer right now. And. Shout out Dorian. Thomas. In the background, holding the cameras. You seem <laughs> particularly <laughs> triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? I, I've had dreams that's like just dreams. Mmm. So these are memories. Like crazy. Like crazy. We, don't that we don't use that word in here. That's an illusion. He's probably in an illusion in that therapy session. Because I feel like those are memories conjuring up in himself. Ma still looks incredible. Have we met? Yeah, because you like that's what happens when you don't age. Yeah, yeah. She's not problematic white. Yeah, when you're not problematic. <laughs> Dorian said when you're not problematic, you age well. That's a fact. Keanu still looks amazing. Okay, so looks like Lion Harris. Blue Hills keep him at bay. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Lion Harris. <laughs> They're keeping him away from it. Now he's... Yeah, there we go. Mm. So I feel like as many blue pills as he had, he's been offered the blue pill a lot over his life. He just keeps taking it. The only thing that matters to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting and why you will never give up. You don't know me. No? Dr. Strange, what the hell? Taking his soul out of his body. God diggity dog. Mm. Is that the new Agent Smith? Could be. This got some Sense 8 people involved too, right? If I'm not mistaken. Ooh, the mic. That's a good point. Wow, look at these shots. Woo! That missile diversion, though. Okay, but why did you jump off? To be going back to where it all started. Back to the Matrix. Johnny Rob, man, I love that dude. Okay, so I got a lot of I got a lot a lot a lot of thoughts. Uh, RB3. Oh wait, wait. So Dorian's telling us live right now. You can control it for us. So if y'all need to pause. Yeah. yeah. Let's pause it at certain parts. Like, all right. All right. Let's pause it right there. Let's pause it right there. So what is what's happening with? Okay, man. I mean, your guess is as good as mine as what's happening. You're right. Uh, it looks. I mean, let's let's give what it is. It looks dope. Right, uh -huh. it looks like the fights are dope. Jessica Henwick is dope. Yaya Blue uh, is dope. Right. Um, that is that's key. That that's obviously gonna be a part of what Lana is gonna bring to this project. Mm. I'm, you know me, bro. Like mm. I just want the story, bro. Give me what the story is. Mm -hmm. So for me, I feel like what if this is um, the machines developing a different version of the Matrix. 
um, a, a more refined plan to keep the one at bay and the one obviously being Neo, the one who can obviously break out of the Matrix and break everyone else out of the Matrix and protect Zion, which we see in all the Matrix movies and the trilogies that you guys have seen as well. So the, the fact that he's like prescribing blue pills kind of implies that he's keeping him in the Matrix, not just like keeping him sedated into the Matrix, right? So what if this is maybe like a more refined version or it could still be like an alternate timeline kind of situation where what if, like literally what if, the Marvel show, Neo didn't take the red pill or didn't meet Morpheus or Trinity and, and or, or what if he did and they put him back into the Matrix or they plugged him back into the Matrix and this is like a different situation where he has to break out uh, this new crew with Yaya and Jessica Henwick is finding him and trying to break him out of the Matrix. What What is your, your theories on the story? Because the visuals are going to be incredible. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, from from looking at this trailer, I think I'm thinking a lot of the same things. I think it's um, it's clear that you know when you see Neil, for me, just watching the trailer the first time on Geeks of Color, you know Neil Patrick Harris, the whole therapy connection and the blue pill connection didn't, didn't come to me. But yeah, it probably would be Neil Patrick Harris who would be the one keeping him at bay. So part of me wonders is he like the undercover agent Smith? I mean, he kind of has that like cold, quiet. Like if you saw Gone Girl. You know, what I mean, you can see Neil Patrick Harris kind of going into that level, right? But then, like, what what is the entity keeping, um, keeping, keeping, keeping um, Neil away? Because at this point, it looks like you know we're getting like a younger. It it looks like a younger Morpheus. It could just be another black dude. Maybe maybe we're making a bad assumption, uh, assuming that is Morpheus, right? We get that because he's bald and he's black. But maybe it's somebody else, right? Um, maybe there's a. Uh, 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 Maybe you know, maybe 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 Neil Patrick Harris is really like a young um, who's old boy who's Rasco um, Hugo Weaving. Maybe he's like a young like Hugo Weaving, young Agent Smith or something like that. Maybe mm -hmm. that's the kind of twist on these characters that we get. For me personally, like I think it's gonna. I think they're they're leading us in the direction of like thinking it's an alternate timeline thing. But part of me knows that you know a lot of this comes back to like religion is there really a one is there really a controller i mean you talk about you talked about in our for in, like, in our first reaction how there was um like six um previous like the ones or, you know or six ones in total incarnations. um incarnations of it like what if what if there the ultimate answer is there there is no one maybe there is no maybe there is some sort of like secular interpretation that like to come from the matrix now especially like you know what we you know how we just know like Lana gets down, how Sense Eight gets down, how Cloud Atlas gets down. Like, there's definitely going to be some sort of dimension breaking. Like, even though this might be a similar reality or a similar timeline that we saw in the first Matrix, um, you know, there's supposed to be a predetermined thing. That's how timelines work. It's supposed to end up at the same place. But this is going to be the story of, of Neo breaking out of that and breaking out of the cliche and breaking out of that in a way that isn't like defined by a one character or one something like that. That's just where I, I'm thinking it's going to go. But. Yeah, I mean, obviously, guys, I, I think the best part of The Matrix, as incredible as the action and the visuals are, is kind of the, the themes and the stories and the philosophy mm -hmm. and all these kind of stuff that they bring up. But, but I feel like, you know, kind of going off what you're saying, how does revolutions end? Revolutions end, Neo dies, he gives his life literally like Jesus, he literally does the crucifix pose. Um, he, he takes out Agent Smith because Agent Smith represented kind of the anti-Jesus or the devil, if you want to say, mm -hmm. uh, who was also trying to do his own thing within the network of the Matrix, which also the machines were against, which means the arch architect was against it and the machines were against it. Mm -hmm. So they let Neo do his thing. And then at the end of the movie, we see uh, the Oracle with the little girl who says now everyone in the Matrix can choose to be aware that they're in the matrix mm -hmm. and any human who's left inside is has a free choice to break out of the matrix that's how revolutions ends right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. what it with that in mind what does this imply does this imply that is this a, a, a different reincarnation of neo or does this imply that maybe this is a different, ver maybe the machine gods or the machine lord, whatever it was at the end of the revolutions, maybe the machine lord said to himself, uh, you know, or the architect said, 
let me make a new matrix with a new version. And this is like the seventh, eighth version mm -hmm. that we're seeing right now where I have a better plan, a better matrix, a better vision with a, a, a better world that people can be more sedated, more fit, fed into the blue pill uh, uh, mythology or the blue pill kind of world of conformity. And, and, and that's what we're seeing now. And then we're seeing different versions of like a Morpheus uh, and a Jessica Henwick character, which I believe is going to be kind of like the new Trinity, right? Considering that Carrie Ann Moss is not. But what we see in the trailer, guys, is the fact that Neil has his powers. Neil has his one powers, which is that telekinetic powers that we see. We also see in the clip trailer, teaser trailer that we saw previously uh, on Tuesday that he used it to like crush a car or like a bike or something like that which is also showing his telekinesis that we see him explore at the end of Matrix 1 and at the end of and at the beginning of Reloaded mm -hmm. that means he's still the one yeah right. and this I think that I think they infer like very heavily especially in the beginning of the trailer like they especially showing the clips from the previous movies like that all of the events still happen this isn't like some sort of reset um, it probably is for him, but that's probably what the whole story is going to be like. How deep entrenched is he? How trapped is he? If there was an actual, you know, this could be something like, um, you know, we're talking about resurrections. This could be something like a, a like time. a rap. It could be something like a rapture kind of situation mm -hmm. too, right? Like, what happens if Jesus actually does come back to Earth? Like, and what, what would that do to him? Like, would he even know who what Jesus is? Would he even believe in himself? Would he even? Is there enough environmental or societal things? Well, the to, one is reincarnated, right? Because right. this is you know different versions of the one we've seen before. Mm -hmm. So this could be a new version of the one who remembers everything that the previous ones did in the past. Like Aang, I'm sorry. Yeah, just like like Aang. Yeah, exactly, like Aang from Last Airbender. Or it could be like, or and then maybe this is the story. Maybe, maybe this, maybe we're, we're experiencing the story from the perspective of the new one, and maybe meant, and maybe that's who, what's, what's Homegirl's name? Um, um, who's the new Trinity? Like the oh, new, Jessica Henwood. Maybe she's maybe she's the potentially the new one or something like that. And this is like her, uh, uh, her experiencing like that transition the same way that Morpheus was, you know, uh, Keanu's spiritual leader. Maybe maybe his maybe she, he's his, her spiritual leader in this one. I don't know. Maybe I'm just guessing. I don't know. Just yeah, it, I, speculation. Th this is what's so awesome about this, guys, because we get to speculate once yeah. again. Why are we bringing the Matrix back? This is Matrix Four. This is Re Resurrections, directed by Lana Wachowski. It's been how many years, right? I mean, yeah. to, to, 2003. If we're bringing it? this back, we might as well do it full blown Matrix style and and just speculate, theorize, and do it the right way. So, yeah, man, the idea that what if this is like a, what if this is all the ones? Right, right, <laughs> what if, right, what if uh, right. Yaya is a one? What if Jessica Henwick is a one? Mm -hmm. And these are like the ones kind of coming together to break out of the Matrix completely or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm talking like, you know, Infinity War, Endgame type or stuff. Or just to break out of the cycle of ones. Like, maybe there's some way that there doesn't have to be this kind of, like, like totally, you know, like maybe there's a way that, the, the whole robot revolution or something, like just totally, you know, I don't know if it ends or maybe it reverses or maybe there's a, another timeline they could hop to where it doesn't happen or something. But I think there's got to be something about Brick in the cycle. I think that's like t the theme to me, at least what I'm reading from this trailer, like is, is something that got to break the cycle because um, because if we're going to cycle back to what we saw all the way in the first movie, like we we had this journey already. But like what is going to be that what is going to be that breaking out factor for him is it going to be new morpheus potentially we're just calling yeah yeah new morpheus at this point but if it's going to be him is it going to be um watch who, watch him be watch him be a different his name is orpheus or something orpheus, yeah yeah <laughs> or like, i'm orpheus and it's like wait a minute right 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 maybe i was tripping earlier on the geeks of, uh color video uh with the with the oracle but maybe maybe that is a young oracle i mean i feel like Maybe they might see some some versions of different characters just with different casting, younger casting. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that plays into the chronology of this whole thing too. Like maybe it's a somewhat of a prequel and a sequel, like at the same time. Like yeah, I mean, obviously, guys, if we had more information, uh, we could probably expand a little bit more because we can maybe dive mm -hmm. into Jonathan Groff's character, who could be a million different versions. He could be maybe yeah. maybe he could be a new art version of the architect. Remember the architect? Uh, yeah, yeah, architect. And, and uh, Matrix Reloaded who comes out and he says I created the Matrix. I was the first, you know, program creator, computer who kind of started this whole program of the Matrix to keep people 
sedated inside of it. So maybe that's what he represents too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I mean, I don't know, man. There's so much to go into. I, the, you know, he was only in there for like one shot, two shots. So I'm like, man, I, I, I want to know who all these characters are. You know what I mean? Like, I think there's going to be so much, you know, there's going to be a lot of mind bending too. You see a little bit of the things that the Matrix ended up inspiring, right? Like Incep Inception, um, Doctor Strange. You see a lot of those visuals like kind of coming up in this version again. But I'm even more excited to see like how do they push beyond the action? You know what I mean? Because now they got um, one of the, I think one of the writers is actually from Sense8. Um, who's like writing this film, and then we got, got other people from like Cloud Atlas. I'm um, involved in just the fact that we got Lana back in this. Like that's just that's just dope itself. And Keanu Reeves says like one of the most beautiful scripts he's like ever read. So that's a good point. So it, I've seen Sensei, guys. I think you've seen Sensei, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, one of the biggest themes of Sensei is that we're all connected, right? We mm -hmm. are all one kind of thing, mm -hmm. which kind of implies that maybe this might be that kind of implication mm -hmm. where. The, the, the one Wach lives in all of us. Or yeah, something. like the Wachowskis are really obsessed with, uh, you know, connectiv connectivity and, and, and everyone is in the same accord and, and, and we're all in this together. We have to fight together. Mm -hmm. We have to be a part of one together. We have mm -hmm. to be conscious of each other. That's literally the whole point uh, right. of wa uh, of waking up from the Matrix and taking the red pill. It's literally like... Yeah. It, it, it's the actual being woke thing before it was considered a thing and before yeah. it got, you know, to the other side. You know, that's what it was. It was about, like, be conscious of what of what your people are, who your people are, because we're all humans and we're all in it together. Mm -hmm. That's what Morpheus represented. Mm -hmm. He was fighting for the humans, so maybe it is kind of a connectivity kind of thing where the humans are kind of banding together once again. I like that. I like that you bring up the Sense8 connection for sure. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm just, I'm hyped for this. I think this yeah. is going to definitely be one of the more heady philosophical blockbusters we're going to see. That's what, we um, that's what we want. And that's what we want. I mean, I think, you know, there's few creators who I have faith in, like, and actually, you know, bringing their stuff back. Um, but obviously we saw, you know, Warner Brothers and, and Mad Max Free Road uh, kill it with um, homie uh, George Miller. Um, and I think this is going to be another case of that. Somebody coming back to their fran the fourth, fourth installment of their franchise, however, so many years later, coming back and, like, adding some new spice to it. I think this is going to be that on that level. So I, I pray to God this is good, God. If it's not, it's mm -hmm. all good because we still have the other movies and we still appreciate the work that everyone's doing in these movies. Yeah. And if anything, shout out to Dorian because he also brought up the fact that maybe this can blow up just a, Jessica Henwick a little bit more. Uh, and maybe it could blow up yeah, yeah, even bigger than he already is right and now, even everywhere. though he's been like freaking yeah, Dr. Yeah. Manhattan and stuff. But yeah. either way, guys, that's what's the exciting part about bringing this franchise back is not necessarily – uh, the idea of bringing back Keanu, who everyone loves, like literally he's the most universally liked actor probably besides The Rock, mm -hmm. but introducing new characters, introducing new actors is definitely the best part of this whole situation. So either way, guys, leave us your comments and let us know what you think of the trailer. Are you confused? Yeah, are you confused? And let us know in the comments. If you if you had a if you had a a, a virtual gun to your head and you had to pick between Spider Man, for, uh, No Way Home, and Matrix Four opening weekend, opening weekend oh, this Christmas, you can only close. choose one. You can only choose one: Matrix Four it's, it's, or Spider Man, No Way Home. Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, yeah, or if you have any theories in the comments, let us know as well because we want to hear all the theories. That's what's going to be great about this whole thing is you guys, Matrix fans, uh, theorizing about this whole situation, especially if you're a fan of Lana and her work and the Wachowski work and previous works, as, as we said, Sensei and other stories like that. We, we kind of get a feeling of what it could be, but we don't know. So theorizing is the best part. Mm -hmm. RB3, where can everyone find you, man? Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at DirectorRB3. And you can also find Ace on Meltdown today. I mean, sorry, tomorrow. Not Meltdown, I'm sorry. You can find him on Network, 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 on the Network app. Be doing some anime drops on Friday uh, Friday at like 3.30. So be sure to download the Network app and check out Ace there live. You can follow me at DirectorRB3. Uh, you can follow me at Squad Leader Ace as well. As we said again, guys, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe to First Cut if you haven't done so already. Follow us at First Cut TMO for all the good social media stuff. We're there on Twitter and Instagram. Either way, guys, for the First Cut crew, we're peacing out. Peace. Me or you.